Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I am so stinking excited because we are going to be doing the introduction for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. This is the third year that I will be joining this project and honestly it is just one of my favorite projects to come around in a really long time because it is just a lot of fun and it's really innovative and it's just a good time. I will make sure that all of the information is going to be linked in the description box below in case this is your first time discovering the Deck of Panning Project Pan. I will make sure to also link Emily. Her channel is Emily and Max. She is the one that actually created this panning project after being inspired by a booktuber by the name of Books with Maddie, who will also be linked down below in case you are into the booktuber universe and you want someone new to check out there. Essentially, there is a game board that has prompts that correspond to a deck of playing cards. Now, these can be taken in any way that makes sense for you, and I love that you can really customize this game to be whatever it is you need it to be in your own panning journey. Now, the game board does change every single month, so you could be drawing the same cards every month and still be getting different prompts. I just love the way that this is structured, and I'm excited to get back into it. So I do have new cards this year. I did get these for Christmas, and they have been shuffled, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle them again so that we can get into drawing our cards. Now in this, we are choosing five cards right off the bat um, to decide what we're going to be starting with. It does update every single month on the 20th of the month and it is a rolling style project. It goes on until December the 20th. I hope I'm not leaving anything out. Ooh, that was not my best shuffle. All right, so the Joker, or one of the jokers rather, is still in here because there is a prompt that corresponds to that. So we'll just go ahead and we'll cut the deck. And then we'll just start drawing some cards. The very first card that we have here is going to be the Seven of Clubs. Then we have the Ten of Hearts. We have the Three of Clubs. We have an Ace of Clubs, and finally we have a Ten of Hearts. All right, I have not looked at the game board yet, so I have no idea what all of these are going to correspond to, so I'm gonna get that pulled up. I'm gonna try to do a pop-up on the screen so that you can see it as well, and we will see what it is that we are going to be choosing items for. All right, I have the game board pulled up and we're gonna see what it is that we are working with. The first card that I drew is the Seven of Clubs. That corresponds to the prompt influenced, meaning that it's something that you were influenced to buy based on another review, which let's be honest, is a lot to choose from there, so that's good. The next card that I drew is the Ten of Hearts. That corresponds to Glowy. I have a lot of those. Um, the Three of Clubs. Ooh, a wish list dupe. Okay. Uh, ooh, the Ace of Clubs. That is going to be a focus item. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. And then the final card that I chose is the Ten of Diamonds. Cities. Let me see what that means. There is kind of a, a key to it and all. Um, oh, inspired by or named after a city. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to find items to go with all of these cards and set goals for all of them and we'll be right back. All right, my friends, the lighting is probably quite different because that took so long. It took me so long to find products to fit these prompts, which is just bananas. Okay, let's start with the first card that I drew, which is the Seven of Clubs, and the prompt for that is Influenced, so you were influenced to buy something based on a review, which again is easily half of the makeup that I own, possibly more. So, had a lot to choose from. I ended up going with my MAC Fix Plus. This is like the OG. Everybody and their brother talked about this for so, so long. 
And that is why I bought it. Not this particular bottle because I really enjoy the MAC Fix Plus formula. Um, but I do want to finish this off. I know they're discontinuing the Back to MAC program. Um, but I still don't know that I want to actually mark on the bottle. I may put a piece of tape down. I don't know. My goal is to finish it and um, probably take a couple of months to get that done. The next card that I drew was the Ten of Hearts, and the prompt for that was Glowy. And again, a lot of things could fall into that category. I decided to go with a primer. This is honestly incredibly old in my collection. Uh, Sephora hasn't carried Burberry in years. <laughs> I've had this probably since 2016, I would say. This is the Fresh Glow. It is, um, I'm pretty sure it's just a primer. I'm going to use this up because it needs to go. Um, the next item that we drew was the Three of Clubs, which is a dupe um, for, hold on. For a wish list item, sorry, my brain does not work anymore. Um, I chose a lipstick, which I know, famous last words. This is the Revlon Shine, uh, Lustrous Super Shine in Toasting Glasses. This is what the shade looks like right here. It is actually incredibly beautiful. My son picked this out and it is an absolutely stunning shade. I think it'll go really, really well this time of year. Um, I picked this as a dupe for the ones from Fenty. I had cookies and cream or something like that on my Sephora wish list. I don't think that this is a color dupe. Um, I will make sure to pop up a little picture, but it is, I feel like, a similar formula. That's one of those sheer, shiny sort of lipsticks. So we're going to use that 10 times. For my Ace of Clubs, this is a focus item, and I chose the Amore Pacific um, Essence that I decided to put in my Plan to Pan. I won't be starting on this immediately. I need to finish off the essence that I'm currently using, but I'm getting really close to the bottom. I'm thinking probably two, possibly three weeks left in that. And then I will start in on this baby right here. It is my goal to use it up entirely. So this will be with us for, for a little bit. And then finally, the one that was honestly the hardest period um, for silly reasons was the 10 of diamonds. And the prompt for that is city. Seems easy enough. Um, I struggled to find something that was named after a city that didn't compete with something that I was already panning and it took forever. So I ended up going with this right here from L'Oreal. This is from the Camila Cabello collection that they did 2018 maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but this is in the shade Hot Havana and it is real pretty. It is kind of a shimmery khaki green sort of shade and I feel like it will complement the eyeshadows that I'm already working on without overlapping the eyeshadows that I'm already working on. At least that is the hope. Um, at any rate, I do have a goal of using it 10 times before rolling it out of this project. I've mentioned in other project um, videos that I'm really trying not to overwhelm myself this year. I really want to make sure that I'm cycling through my products, which is why I have usage goals on things. And it's only smaller things or focus products that I'm trying to use up. So that's why the lipstick and the eyeshadow only have the 10 uses on there. Uh, and hopefully that means that I'll be able to move through things a little bit more quickly. So that is what we are going to be working on for the first month of the Deck of Panning Project Pan. As I mentioned before, everything is going to be linked in the description box below, as well as everything that I'm wearing on my face in case anybody is curious. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.